Mr. McDaniel. Yes. First it was Union, then Jinx, followed by Broken Arrow and Liberty. The decision to comply with House Bill 3393. The law forces districts to pay tuition scholarships to special education students whose parents choose to send them to private or religious schools. It's something every one of these school superintendents calls unconstitutional. It is in violation in approximately five different areas, but the primary most blatant violation is taking public taxpayer funds for private purposes. Aldo Eagle has a son with special education yeah, needs. He says pocket. he disagrees with the concerns yeah, superintendents and board board members have. Um, what concerns me is the lack of empathy for the kids and their parents. Uh, you know, Dr. Lehman makes close to a quarter million dollars a year, and a lot of these folks who need these scholarships don't make anything near that. Even though they may disagree with the law, superintendents say complying with the bill is the only right decision they could make. Last week, Attorney General Scott Pruitt sent a letter to school districts warning them to comply with the law by January 24th or face legal action. Even though we feel a little bit um, like we're being threatened and being pushed to do, make this decision, uh, we're going to do that because we're going to comply with, with what uh, the Attorney General has told us to do. It's a move that has left some school board members feeling defeated for the time being, but soon they will fight back with legal action of their own against Attorney General Pruitt to determine the constitutionality of the bill.